There's a direct connection between hormone fluctuations and ADHD symptoms, especially in the days leading up to your period. In the final days of your cycle, both estrogen and progesterone levels drop significantly. This hormonal shift is what triggers menstruation, but it also changes the brain's neurochemical balance in ways that are especially noticeable for those with ADHD. Estrogen plays a key role in supporting dopamine, the neurotransmitter tied to motivation, focus, and reward. So when estrogen drops, dopamine signaling often drops along with it. And that can mean more brain fog, more irritability, lower motivation, and difficulty starting tasks. At the same time, progesterone, which supports GABA, a calming neurotransmitter, also declines. This can make the brain feel more anxious, overstimulated, or reactive, especially when sleep is disrupted as well. For people with ADHD who already experience less stable dopamine in more sensitive nervous systems, this drop in hormones can create a perfect storm for increased symptoms. One of the best ways to support your brain during this time is to focus on blood sugar stability. That means eating enough protein, especially at breakfast, and pairing carbohydrates with healthy fat or dietary fiber to avoid energy and dopamine crashes. It can also help to intentionally reduce your cognitive load during this part of your cycle. That might look like simplifying your schedule, increasing rest, or creating extra structure around tasks that require sustained attention. This isn't about lowering your standards standards, it's about matching your strategies to your physiology. ADHD symptoms often intensify right before your period, not because you're doing something wrong, but because your brain is simply responding to real hormonal shifts. And understanding this connection makes it easier to plan ahead and to support your nervous system in a more effective, self-aware way. Have you noticed your symptoms shift during your cycle? If so, let me know in the comments.